Bruh. Hey, what do you think? Y'all, I literally can't. Like, this is the worst. You got a crew full of black folk. This is this supposed to be a joke? What do you mean? This isn't remotely an even split. You get almost half the total tonnage. Yeah. The shit half. I know we have the advantage here. I can see your numbers. I can see you. Y'all, I literally can't. He was fished from the water by the Scarborough. Tortured, escaped. Did you say how he went into the water? <sighs> said he lost his footing, said he fell. He said you tried to save him. You owe him again. You owe his ass twice, my guy, twice. He has saved your ass twice. Captain. My fault. He's about to be real pissed. And he's about to go take those men up there and kill everybody. And then Mr. Scott's going to die. And then Eleanor's going to be mad that Mr. Scott is dead. Seven men have been standing on this beach awaiting your return. <sighs> waiting to complete the task to which we've all bound ourselves. Oh waiting. Fucking horn of gold. Fucking horn of gold. Nah, bruh. Dog. I don't even I don't even have words right now. I think you know what this will provoke. I think you know how dangerous the consequences promised to be. And I think you knew that before you took up the knife. I think I know why you did it. And I don't think it had anything to do with him or with her or with gold. I will stand in between you and them. I will protect you. As for Vane, I don't like leaving him up there any more than you do. It's an awful compromise to be sure, but one well worth making, given what is being offered in return and what it promises for the future of this place. How unsurprising that you cast aside our arrangement the first moment. Hey, go, shut the been. fuck up! My priority has always been and will always be the welfare of my men. I'm only sorry that you cannot see past your own pride to join me. My in pride? Mm. I've mm -hmm. been the captain of men at sea going mm -hmm. on three decades. Survived a war with Spain, a, an insurrection against a queen. A decade as an outlaw in a place where the weak and the dead are one and the same. So the idea that you could choose to discard our arrangement, that I would demur in the face of your unassailable rhetoric. Either you've overestimated yourself, sir, or you've underestimated me. Tonight I will call counsel and submit myself as captain of this combined crew. My argument will be plain. I intend to lead the men in retaking the fort, as promised. He's not going to win this. Charles they Vane want the gold. As promised. And then I intend to sail for the earth of gold. <laughs> they can just go and for the gold and fuck the fort. Over this place for good. Did you see? England is going to give that to you. Yes, by opening up the port. It's the only outcome that makes any sense. They'll have to. And the moment they ratify our control over this place. No more fighting. No more leads. No more chasing our fucking meals. I'm talking about making money the way London makes money. She's got a point. Like, all of this makes so much okay. sense. But. Make this deal. You gotta deal with egos and other because ideas. We can have a future here that. <clears throat> when I take something from a man. Opposed to what people. His ship. His money. His life. England has no more appetite for taking this place back today than they did yesterday, or last month, or last year, because they know it is inhabited by so many men like me. He doesn't understand they that they're nearby, that they're waiting. They oh no, like, like, this is more information needed. Like, I don't know. Side with Flint. Beg them to let you keep what is already yours. 
Show them that weakness. She does not. That's a bye-bye kiss, isn't it? It's a bye. It's a bye-bye kiss. Is it a bye-bye kiss? Are you, once again, are you offering up the vagina? Like, I don't understand what's, I don't understand. I need, I need assistance. You cannot imagine what I've sacrificed to gain this captaincy. I may have lost the only person in the world I cared for to gain this captaincy. What are you gonna do? Don't lose it. There's so many things happening right now that I just don't know what's, I, my, I can't, uh, uh Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god, y'all. What's gonna happen? Oh my god. Y'all can't even look at the screen. I have one eye, and it's my right eye, and it's looking over to the right as I look over, like, straight ahead to with my left, because this is about to be a cluster, isn't it? Somebody's about to fucking die. Is Jack about to fucking die? Oh no. I feel like messaging my sister. Does Jack die? What is he doing? Does he take the- does he take it? I can't, y'all. I literally can not -a. What do you do? I'm scared! With one or two small adjustments, if you wouldn't mind hearing me out. Of course. For what little comfort it may provide right now, I believe you made the right decision. Wayne will see the wisdom in <laughs> No, oh my god, Jack is gonna die! Boom, bitch! You can't hit somebody! Move, Jack! Don't stand there and take the punches! Don't stand there! Ugh! Oh, Ugh! Oh. He needs you in your nut sackles! Damn it! Ugh! Oh. Jack, I love you to pieces, honey, cookie, sweetie, baby. Do something, anything to save thine self. Is, if Jack wins this... Come on, do something! What's happening? Juicy fruit in your mouth. Don't fucking do it. You don't have a captain. Wait. I'm fucking sorry, Jack. Friends. Wasn't able to see any outcome. I can't look. That saw a single can't do it. member of this prize crew to survive. And that was an outcome that I could simply not abide. I can only hope our new brothers will join us. In the fight for their own survival, Mr. Haynes, remove their restraints, please. Remove their restraints now. Every man from that prize crew. There is a man amongst this crew who can sit down with me at this table and speak reasonably, honorably, to reach a resolution more favorable in light, of course, of the overwhelming odds now in our favor. Come on, you're up front. Walk your ass slow down. I cannot believe. I am so excited. He fucking did it, my guy. So now, let's talk about splitting the shit evenly. That makes sense to everyone's poquetas. All right. Flint was right. England is coming. I've seen them. I've seen how they see us. We aren't criminals to them. We You're aren't not even people. Men. I didn't escape. They let him go? From the Navy. I didn't escape. The captain of Scarborough made me an offer. I would aid him in the capture of a fugitive from justice. 
one Blit. particular fugitive. Hmm. It's a dangerous game you're playing. But it could work in your favor, it depends. There is one particular vote I'm having some trouble with. Perhaps you could help me with it. Whose vote is that? Mine. Mine. How long do we wait for the situation to resolve itself? The gold is still a priority. There's been no change in that. You have my word. Really? What does that mean? That's all I needed to hear. Are you sure? <laughs> I should get to work. Mm. I'll keep you apprised of the numbers. You do that. Yo, I can't. This show is stressing me out. You're gonna find your tally a man short. Why? Who isn't here? Mr. Logan. I don't believe he's here. Well, he's here. And he's not in trouble. But that could change quickly if certain people were to learn he's here. What the fuck happened here? Does it matter? A man dies under this roof, it is my responsibility, whatever the circumstances. How exactly did you plan on covering this up? I told you I have every intention of seeing this made right. Time is not our friend here. Please, something resembling the truth. Logan was among a number of men who deserted this morning. I'm willing to risk dying in a bloody fight to retake the fort he and his love fled together. I heard he has a brother in Providence. Not surprised that's where he went. Are you following? Yes. Good. Ciao. Why would you do that? Help me. Because last thing I need right now is flint in the middle of this. And he owes you one. If he or any of the men <laughs> so... to learn about it, my life would get significantly more complicated. Bruh! She is tripping at this moment in time. Vane is going to try to strangle you. I don't, girl. Bitch. 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 Once again, I don't. Oh my god, my. I just. I'm just oh, 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 oh. This is so bad. This is the worst thing she could do. He probably doesn't have the real key on that thing. She's probably not even in there. He's gonna lock her ass in there. Oh no, girl. I can't. Like, my whole face is not the business. You are no longer a hostage. And I'm gonna get you out of here. You guys, I don't know if I can take Eleanor sometimes. I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like, she is putting... <sighs> Y'all, I don't know what to do. So many things have happened. So many things have happened in that episode. All of the things have happened in that episode. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. I, number one, this is not going to work out for Hornigold at all whatsoever. Number two, um, he's about to get his ass embarrassed. Uh, number three, Vane's about to be livid. I don't, I don't understand. Eleanor is like stressing me the fuck out, dog. She is stressing me the fuck out. She is stressing me the fuck out. Like what it, what? Y'all, I can't even process this. I can't process this. Yeah, I got a headache. I got a tension headache right now.
Yeah, I can't with that. But let me tell you something. Jack, I am so surprised and shocketh and happy. I love Jack as a character. He just wants to be a fucking captain. And today, he was a fucking captain. Man. All the dude had to do was split it evenly and it could have been called a day, but he wanted to try and screw him on it. And I'm so glad that Jack got the upper hand. I am so glad because now it proves to the dude who was waiting in line to be the next captain because that's what his plan was for him to take the shitty split and then have Jack voted out as captain and have him voted in as captain still with the the um, madam's information. So I'm like, your plan backfired, bitch. Uh, and that was that was one of the best times in that whole episode, that right there. But everything else was stressful. My chest hurt, my back hurt, my booty's clenched, everything. I'm sweating in between the breasticles. Like, that's how bad I was stressed. I... Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> All right, guys, and on that note, thanks for hanging with me, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. My gosh, this is about to be a clusterfuck for her, isn't it? It is.